Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. And I noticed this machine here isn't getting power. Like I took the capacitor out, it was like stuck right there. I put it back in and then all the power was gone. So I don't know what's up with that. Let's see here. It's the top inventory only. Ah, now it's working. It was on none before. What, what was up with that? Maybe it needed to be updated. Anyways. We've got these PTP tunnels, so we should definitely start working on making a whole bunch of ME cables. Probably going to want at least two stacks, so... ME cables... Um, where are you? Is it called conduits, not cables? I mean... Uh, hello? What are you called, buddy? At, uh... Oh wait, no, it's, um... I mean... Conduit... Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we want these things. Oh, they got dense ones. Wonder what's the difference. Maybe it's meant to be used with more channels, but channels was disabled in Omni Factory, so we're gonna make these. All right, so if we want like two stacks of these, we're gonna need like a little bit less than two stacks, like a stack and a half of the covered cables. It's one to one ratio, two per fluix dust. I think I'm going to make like four stacks. We get eight in here, okay. So maybe two stacks will do. So two stacks of Fluix dust. What the heck? I typed. Um, forget what it was. It's charged Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, and Redstone. Okay. We've got decent amount. I want more of that though. Autoclave, just the quartz. Okay. So what I need is 44. This needs to be turned into that. Okay. 44 it is. Let's go ahead and wait. Actually. If I just smelt you, don't I get, like, Sardis Quartz? Yeah, let's use that instead. So we don't have to autoclave twice. Put this away for plates. Hammer! <laughs> um, you're almost done. We need 44... Of that. And that needs to be autoclaved with water, I think. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna get some water. That was 15. Yep, one more. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. And get that quartz going. Nice, nice one-to-one -one ratio. Whoops, why'd I do that? <laughs> Put the diamonds in there, dang it. <laughs> It might be time to get a better autoclave. I don't know. I kind of want to get to HV and skip most of the NV if I can. We already have enough NV stuff as it is. We 
do have room for one more machine though, but I kind of want to keep that for a rainy day. Um, we also need nether quartz in a proper ratio and block of quartz. How do I atomic reconstruct? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Can I craft in the quartz? I can. Cool. Let's go ahead and get like the 40. Oh wait, no, we want a whole stack. That's right. And what was the other thing? Redstone? Yeah. A stack of redstone. And I guess we can start getting this started. It's just that. Waiting on this bad boy to do its thing. We need this to start charging as well. Zip. Zip. <laughs> I might want like a whole line of these at some point so that it can be nice and fast. I wonder if there's, is there another way to make this? Or, oh, the energetic infuser. That requires mana steel for uh, this thing. With the mana infused ingots. So yeah. I mean, we're pretty close to that, but... Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Um... You done yet? Get that in there. I just want to make sure we have enough cables for not only this, what we're about to do, but like future builds as well. We're also going to need more PTP tunnels. The hardest part wasn't the processor or this, it was this stuff. Because it required that uh, stainless steel. The iron's easy, um, the nickel's easy. It was the manganese and chrome because we only have the MV macerator, which is kind of slow, like it's pretty slow. But also, since it only has one output, the stone dust was often competing for that spot. So even if it would like generate the manganese, the stone dust would override it. So we were supposed to get a 14% ratio of it and we ended up getting like a 2% or less. So, it's not ideal as we currently are. But we can make them. <laughs> um, I just want to get polyethylene automated as soon as possible. But yeah, as soon as these cables are done, that's going to be our next project after we wire everything up. We're almost there. So close, just a few more. And you're still burning. I do need to advance our sugarcane thing soon. We also need to upgrade our current power situation a little better than this. These cables can do 2K, so we definitely can advance these um, power generators, that's for sure. Okay, let's make these Fluix crystals. Nice. Okay, so you were made from you, which is made from this, which is Fluix dust and quartz fiber. Uh, we want two stacks. We want one stack of the pure stuff, which is one stack of the nether quartz seeds. So 32 sand and 32 nether quartz dust and a stack of glowstone. Ah, we're so close. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, it's in a compacting drawer. Yeah, right there. We need a little more! No! <laughs> I guess we can get that really quick. Uh, we got this hammer of an awesome neosity. And creative flight. 
I need to upgrade this uh, magnet though real soon as well. Okay. Um, other quartz, please. Quartz. Oh wait, I'm getting glowstone. Durr. What am I doing? It's a good thing we got a fortune three hammer. Awesome. Should get a little bit of nether quartz, but we're fine. We got the blocks for now. It might be more efficient to just go to a building with the nether quartz blocks and mine that out instead. But there's our stack of glowstone, so let's go ahead and put what we have else away. We need 32 sand. And what was the other thing? And and nether quartz seeds. Which is nether quartz dust. So quartz. Let's go ahead and make like more. Um We need thirty-two of that macerated, which we've got this bad boy. See how fast you do it? Not bad. Okay, maybe I should... Eh, we'll worry about that later. And we've got the space, so this gets mixed with this to get a stack of that which gets mixed with this? No? How do I do it again? Oh, I gotta make it grow first, that's right. Go ahead and grow, please! To a puddle of water. Wait, I didn't need the glowstone. Ah, oh, because I grew it in here? I, I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> Let's just go forward. Um, so this needs to be, what is it, wire milled? So we'll go ahead and put that there. We'll get our two stacks of the quartz fiber, which can be mixed with, what is it, the fluix dust? Yeah, inside of an alloy smelter, okay. So we need to macerate these fluix crystals. You get one per, right? Yeah. At least we mapped, right? <laughs> Okay. So yeah, if we wanted like nether quartz, I guess we would go to... Let me see if I can find one. No, there's one around somewhere. Here it is. Like these buildings, there's a uh, 4, 8, 16 nether quartz per uh, like square, 2 by 2 by 1. And there's a lot. And there's nether quartz stairs. I don't know if I'd mine the one this close to the base, but I could go further out and mine quartz from them. Be a lot better than getting it from the nether. Um here. Thank you. And thank you. All 
Alright, so we need to alloy smelt these together. Uh, what is that silicon for? Oh yeah, this. Bam and bam. I don't remember what we needed that for though. <laughs> Uh 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 uh. alloy. Okay, go ahead and keep on making. You will suck, right? Yes. Suck it all! So we are getting two per, so we're gonna have four stacks of the ME glass cables. Which is going to make us uh, four stacks of the covered cables, which is going to make us, ooh buddy, probably close to ten or around ten stacks of the ME cables. That's way more than what we need, but it will do the job. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, we'll wait for that. Oh, it's raining. How lovely. I guess for the moment I can start making a bunch of conduit binder because I know we're going to need quite a bit. So we have four stacks of the cables. Right? Yeah, so we're going to need like twice that amount in conduit binder. So eight stacks of conduit binder. Holy crap. You get two per, so I need four stacks of this. Let's do it. Sand. Put that in the system. And clay and gravel. And gravel is a tricky one. We don't have any of it. Can it be made with anything else? No, can Oh, we have gravel there, right here. Duh! And do this. One, two, three, four. Smelt it all up. And that will do just fine. We've got all of this. So the covered cables are that in the assembler with rubber, no chip needed. One per, so I need four stacks of rubber. Ooh, buddy. That's a lot of rubber. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Hopefully melt fast, cause yeah. Oh God. That's dreadful. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to wait for that one. And then this is also in the assembler. No rubber though, just a conduit binder. Okay. I guess to get us started, we could do this. Put that in there. And grab like a bunch of this binder. Wait, we only need one stack for right now. And some of that. 
and that will make us the cables to get us a nice head start. is like four, another four. Kinda feel like we need more PTP things too. Cause every area I kinda want like its own PTP thing. Alright, I'm gonna put some thought into this and I'll be right back. Okay, well, it's a little too premature to, to put thought into it right now. Like, I just immediately looked and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta turn these into the energy form first. So, I think there's a wrench of some sort for that. Is it a network tool? Or do you use the card? Let's see here. Memory card cleared. No. How do you turn these into the energy form? Do I use the wrench? B, yeah! Okay, that's how you do it. And if I break them... They lose that configuration and go back to the me. No, there we go. Okay, so they're fee. Alright, so what is the limitation on these things? Do they have no limit? Are they limited to the cable that's connected to them? Basically, what I want is to have... Um... I kind of want them like that, right? And that will pull power in. We can have the input. And then the ME cable will come out of that, I believe that's how that works, right? And then... Oh, if you break it like that, it loses its configuration. Dang it! <laughs> you have to break it with the wrench. Um, I think that's how it works. So we're limited to the output of this, which is 8K. Um, so technically, I'm going to want one hair. Um... I don't know. Like how things are wired right now, I could leave it wired that way because all of this stuff is running just fine. I think what I would want to do is to have a different spot. Oh wait, don't do that. I guess we could put it here and let the wire go through the floor. And we can use that for future projects, like the polyethylene production, maybe? So, as this is, we have 2K as our max. The machines, you know, since they only have 4X EEFs, can only use... How much power is it, 4X? I forget. Uh, let's see here. E, F. Wait. The 4X CEF has a maximum output, or voltage output, 512 in, 32LV out. I'm confused. 
<laughs> I would assume if it can do 512 in, it can do 512 out. Right? Yeah, it's gotta... I think the voltage out is like a single of the X. So 64 of the X. So 64, um, oh wait, no, 32 times. Oh god, what is EU to RF ratio again? I think it says it in the uh, quest book, to be quite honest. Um, was it the CEF thing? Oh, yeah, it's a 4 to 1 ratio. I knew it. So... Voltage out 32, which would be... 32 EU. So, 8 RF. Wait, no. Wait, huh? Uh, iron cable? It just says voltage though, like 32. It doesn't say if it's EU or uh, RF. I'm assuming it's RF. But no, that would be way too much RF. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's 4x LV, because two 4x LVs right here. Oh wait, no, it's just one. Okay, so yeah, it is 512 RF per 4x. So let's see here, 32 times 4 is 128. So yeah, that is, voltage is RF confirmed. So a single X is 128 EU times 4 is 512 EU, which can power MV. Okay, so this is 512 if I have like its maximum amount running to the CEF. Any future machines would just stall. Then this has to be 2048. So I think we need to upgrade these conduits one more time if we want everything to be able to run on that line. Otherwise things would start stalling. I think our maximum power usage right now is probably around... 6 to 8k, especially with uh, this and this. Hmm. I need a lot more PTPs, and I'm trying to figure a way like how I can avoid that. But yeah, I need to make a whole bunch more. Guess I should start getting that manganese producing. Let's get some more chrome. <laughs> Got a little bit. I'm gonna relocate this. Maybe here. And for the moment, I'm just going to put these in and we're not going to bother with that. But th we will do that soon. I just need to get more manganese and uh, chrome because two is not enough. 
Like I'm going to want a PTP for this, a PTP for that, a PTP for this, I'm going to want a PTP for this, I'm going to want a PTP for this, and yeah, it just adds up. And then for all of this, uh, just so everything can, ha can have its own power line, pretty much. So nothing competes for each other. The only thing it would be competing for then would be the maximum output, but we can upgrade these to the vibrant here and really boost that number. They're just basics right now. I think there's advanced and then uh, vibrant. We do have one ME terminal, but we want a fluid terminal. We're going to want a interface and a pattern. We already have the crafting. So let's make the pattern terminal first. So we need a diamond thing, okay. One. Uh, silicon. And a processor. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I knew I ran out of red alloy. Um, okay. Ten. Let's make like eight. So I need 16 of the things here. What are we missing? Tin alloy foil? We've got plenty of tin alloy. Foil has to be, yeah, plates. Wait, I put tin in there. Whoops. <laughs> Good thing I didn't do it. Uh, it needs to be plates. Let's do that and this. Eight. Let's do 16 to start. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, cluster mill, bam. Okay, that will do. And then we need double that of everything else. So copper, we need 32 of this. And then resistors, we need 32 of that. This is probably still cooking rubber though. Dang it, we're almost done though. Uh, let me do that. Hi. Whoops. Almost done with the rubber. Nice. Might as well make the plates while we're here.
And there is that taken care of. Now we're going to get all our covered cables. You get any decent amount of chrome? A couple more? Okay. Let's keep getting more. And then we'll take care of manganese next. Waiting on this to finish and then we'll be all set. Alright, so that's done. Let's get our circuits going. And we're gonna need to do this. Oh wait, no, that goes there, then this, this, and I know the order doesn't matter, but I like going off memory. Uh, I need those phenolic things, right? Um there we go. Let's just leave these here. So let's take the one we need for right now. So it goes this and this. Makes that. Pattern terminal needs a blank pattern. Ooh, buddy. So I guess we really do need to automate that polyethylene, like, right now. I guess that means I'm going to have to wire it with, uh, the PTP. Let's do it. Alright, so... I need more ME cables. Let's do four to start, I guess. Couple more sets. All right, so we're gonna wire that here. Do I have to connect that with like the blue cable first? Let's try it. Yep, and then we go down. In this way. So this and this and then this and that and they connect. Okay. I need to bring this to that so this way. Okay, and then we can do that. And we're gonna punch that that way. We're gonna take it right over here. I 
guess what we can do is just put this directly on it. And we need to set this to output, the other one to input, so... Forget how to do that. It's been so long since I've done this. But we'll figure it out. Let's do that. I guess that becomes the input, and now any future clicks is the output. So if I do... This... It should be configured. It just needs to be connected now. Whoops. Okay. Now that's connected. Oh wait, I should have seen if it, um... Wait, is it all connected? Yep. Okay. Do you have power? Zero RF. Device offline. Oh, it needs to be connected to the Mii system. Duh. So I guess you need to go this way. Yeah. Now you're connected. <laughs> device online, right? Yep. And you're getting power. Okay, it works. It's getting power through the AE network now from the card that we had connected here. So yeah, now that's limited to 8k RF. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and start closing things, I guess. the inside here. And we never have to replace this line, which is amazing. Ta-da! And then it has power. <coughs> okay, so are you getting oxygen? Yeah, it's got a whole tank of oxygen. And what else does it make? Is it nitrogen? Yeah. But wait a minute. Why does it have so much oxygen yet so little nitrogen? I'm confused. Oh. Now it's filled up with um, nitrogen. Why is the tank thing so weird? Oh, the first part of the tank is the air, I see. And then the second part is the nitrogen, and the third part is the oxygen. That makes sense. Yeah, this is max, so it's 64, yep. <laughs> well, it works, so yeah. So if I were to do this, it would no longer fill up with air, right? Come on. Use one up. <laughs> 84, 85, you can make it. <laughs> yep, doesn't fill up. So the air comes through that um, square just like I predicted. Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> How do I put it back without destroying it and losing everything? No! <laughs> I guess I would do this. Come on. And then try that. Nope. 
So what I need to do is put this here and then do that. And you should be filling with air and filling this up. Awesome. Alright, so we're good. So now that we have oxygen, we need to pump that oxygen into another machine. Let's get rid of these for now. To the chemical reactor that's going to receive the ethylene, okay. Um, kind of want this to be underneath now. But I think about it. It's just a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. Wait, let's um do that. Can I not aim you downwards? No, I can't aim you down. New plan. There we go. <laughs> that will restart producing. Nope, I'm still not happy with that. I want to put that there. And this there. Now I'm happy. <laughs> and then we can, I guess, auto eject upwards. that will go into the, what is it, a chemical reactor? Yeah. And that can be 30E. Okay, good. So we need another chemical reactor. It's a good thing we made a bunch of these uh, processors here. Ooh, buddy, look at all that. Still so much more to come. So, let's go ahead and get one of uh, this a chemical bathe. We need this thing. You know what? I'm going with two. Actually, let's do three. And we will polarize the stack. Na -na 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 -na. Let that do its thing. And the laves are back here. This way we can just make these like so much more now, like way more, and not have to worry about the rods. Always good to make things in bulk, especially when you got infinite iron. Okay. Where's all that sulfur going, by the way? Did I ever make a cr thing for that? Yeah, right here. It's got that, but I don't have a void upgrade in it. 123x64, stack limit 256. It's already almost halfway to its max. I, I need to keep an eye on that. Let me just make the void upgrade right now. run into that issue of it filling our system up. Um, go ahead and do 
that. We'll grab this. You lose the polarization? No! Oh, I didn't do it yet. Never mind. You're not done yet. <laughs> that was just a very convenient click that I managed to have only two stacks in there. Very deceiving click. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. And we can put that there, and then the oxygen will go in that. Uh, the nitrogen and the, um, the other thing, the... Oh wait, no, just the nitrogen, really. We're going to pull that and put that in a tank somewhere, I guess. Probably into the AE systems fluid terminal thing that we're going to make. Um... Are you done yet? Okay. Start doing that and tell me you're still polarized. You should be. Hey! <laughs> Wait, we already just made one of those. We need one of these. Get all them tin plates we need. Always like needing tin. Tin, 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 tin. That is the skeleton. Matter? Okay, so that will be our next one, most likely. And we're also going to need the copper one, which is, what, spider? Yeah, okay. And we should do coal from creeper. We're going to need emeralds, we're going to need lapis, we're going to need slime for platinum coins. Oh wait, let me do this. Grab some tin. The tin alloy foil. Or the tin alloy is going to be used for foil, so let's just put all that in here. Tin alloy. Tin alloy. Okay. And we're going to put this there, 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 and there. And then it was... Hammer, file, screwdriver. Okay. Uh, hammer, file driver. There we go. Another chemical reactor. And I don't know if I can say only export a certain fluid. Maybe with the pump and like a filter. Yeah, let's make a pump and let's uh, make an item filter. So, pump. Uh, this one. I need another one of these. Hammer. File. Screwdriver. And paper rings, knife. Let's make a bunch so I don't keep running out. And we need to make more screws, apparently. File.
That was a waste of tin, but whatever. Uh, crap. Yeah, uh, saw? No, I just made so many! <laughs> and, uh, well, that's a good thing, actually. Uh, file. There we go, we won't run out of those soon. Uh, screwdriver, wrench, and another one of those. Screwdriver, wrench. Wait, I needed that. Pump. Filter, so it's this one, right? Oh, fluid filter, oof. Sinker on a lapis plate. Okay, we just need the lapis plate. No, I'm all out of lapis! Cabaltite. Tell me we've got some lapis left in here. No! We're all out! There we go. <laughs> so I guess I just compress one of these. No? How do I make the plate? Compactor. Or cutting saw. Do we have a cutting saw? Cutting machine. Cutting machine. Oh, I had to put the block in there, that's right. There we go. Throw that in there. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know why you can't just make them one at a time, you know? Anyways. There we go. We got our fluid filter. I want to say only accept oxygen, please. So, put the pump there. And... I need a screwdriver. Alright, so we are exporting... I need a bucket of oxygen, okay. Oops. Dang it. Uh, only oxygen. Thank you. And that is going to go into our reactor here, and it should be working immediately. Okay, there we go. So this needs ethylene now, so now we need to make an ethylene thingamajob. Thingamabinger. Majobber. <laughs> Guess we can make the ethylene production over here. So we need another CEF. EF. And... iron. So let's grab some redstone. And some iron. Macerate that iron down.
and craft it. No, we'll do it over here. Melt. And we need to wire mill that. Okay. Here we go. And you need to be 4x. There we go. I think I'm going to change how the PTP is connected. So let's go ahead and grab some of you. We'll do that for the moment. And also... I think I'm going to reset this up. So I need to reset that to fee then. Um, if I just place you right there. And then do... Can I get rid of you, put you there, wait no, I want to put you here, like that, configure you, and then we need cables. Pop, pop. Whoops. Extract. Insert. Insert. Okay. And now that's connected to the same PTP, and I never need to upgrade those cables because this is LV and the maximum amount these these, t <laughs> these two CE apps can do is a thousand twenty four, <laughs> not two thousand forty eight like the cables can do. Um, so we need to do ethylene. I need to do the distillation tower and fermented biomass for that. So... To get a nice head start on that distillation tower. HV. I know we can make the circuits because we've done it before. We made one. We would need two for this project. Uh, stainless steel. We need a lot more manganese for. Something tells me the distillation tower is also going to need... Uh, let's see here. If I do this. Yeah, a lot of stainless steel. So a lot of manganese and a lot of chrome. And like two of the uh, processors. The energy input's easy. Everything else here is easy. So basically, a lot of stainless steel. How are you doing? That's a decent amount of chrome. The manganese was from the 
key light. Let's get that going. Get some more manganese. But yeah, so the distillation tower is going to use the fermented biomass, and then we need to connect that to a whole bunch of thingamajingers. Uh, I'm guess, guessing I'm going to do the deep. Or wait, no, is it a deep thing? No, it's a quantum tank, this thing right here. We're looking at tier twos, right? Yeah. And some alu aluminium, that's easy. Some machine hull, easy. This thing, easy, easy. Energetic alloy wires, easy. So I'm gonna need a quantum tank for the excess nitrogen we're getting. I'm gonna need one for Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just do fermented. Okay, so acetic acid is two, three. We might as well have one with water, so water has a place to go. We don't have to keep destroying it. Three. Methanol's four. Methanol's five, six, seven, eight. And nitrogen's not on this list, good. So we're gonna need a lot of tier two processors. So each one is eight. And we needed eight, right? Uh, yeah, so. 8 times 8 is what? 64? Wait, no. 8 times 4 is 32. Yeah, 64. Okay. Um, 64 tier 2s is going to be like... Because each one of these is 3. I'm going to need 3 stacks. Of the tier ones. <laughs> okay, looks like we gotta cook a lot of coal then. So that's gonna be our next project here. Let's actually do that now and then we'll wrap up. So, coal. Something I definitely wanna get. Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna keep that on me. I'll keep that on me too. Do I have a thing for it? I sure do. Okay. That will do. Let's sleep the night away. Give it a nice scan somewhere away from the base. Hopefully I can find coal quickly. bunch right here. That's gonna have to do. I would 
prefer to be in the middle. Hey, witch. Right here will do. Thanks a lot, witch. <laughs> um. Hi. Here's the call. There's a brewing stand there. And a spawner. The heck is this? Ooh. Furnaces! I didn't bring torches with me, which was an amateur move. It's a good thing we're at coal. Let me get a piece. Oh wait, no, I would have to smelt that, wouldn't I? Let's see here. Um, fuel of some sort? Can I use string? No, I didn't want to do the stick. No! <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Let's go back to the base. You know what? I'm just going to mine this in the dark off camera and we'll be right back. Alright, uh, we got a decent amount of light from above so I'm just going to finish this up and I think we're done. Well that was quick. Literally took seconds. <laughs> Let's see if there's any residual pieces. No, looking good. Still need to grab that. Okay. Ah! Stop being so mean! You're so mean! <laughs> Looks like a bunch of stuff popped up there and here from the first grab. Okay, that will do. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, where did I come down? Ah, right here. Grab this. Nothing in here. Good. Okay, we're, we're out of here. <laughs> Alright, so let me put some stuff away. Like you, you, you. That can go away. That can go away. So can that. And the brewing stand. Get rid of this, 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 and this, and this, that. Um. <laughs> Think we're fine. Wait, did I put any ores in there? Okay, let's get that out of there. And the rest of the ore can go in the ore chests or crates. Getting a lot of this uh, oil sand ore. Brewing stand, grab our stuff, organize, get some coal smelting, and let's wrap up. 
Okay. And I think we're fine so far. I like the wrenches to be there. Oh, what the heck is that doing here? Um, screwdriver goes in here. Wait, what is that doing there? Get that out. Alright, I think we're good. What do they have there? I don't remember. I think it was just an extra spot. Alright, so... Cole. Lignite, no. Stibnite. There we go. So, let's go ahead and get all of it cooking. And we're gonna throw a stack of it inside of the pyrolyze oven because we're gonna need all that fennel for the many many stacks we're gonna need of uh, circuits. <laughs> yeah. Three stacks, right, of the tier one circuits. Rough, rough, rough. Bam. Are you working now? Good. Get some fennel for me. And we have some more of that. It just needs fennel. Good. We're just gonna still need more, so. resin. Crap. There we go. And we'll put the rest down here for a moment. This is getting us fennel really, really fast. Awesome. And with that, we can start working on that distillation tower one piece at a time. First things we're going to need are the eight quantum tanks for all the different fluids. Once those are made, we're going to have to make a crap ton of stainless steel. So we're going to keep that going too while we're waiting. So a decent amount of chrome and manganese. I do need to go get more steelite and I need to get more ruby. But yeah, we're going to wrap up here. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Next episode, we're going to go look for some ruby and steelite. Get that going. Then we're going to make the quantum tanks. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.